So we're finally here, gang. Only took me six months, but here it is. The final officially released Half-Life Deathmatch map. I, I can't believe it, too. I thought this day would never come. Actually, I knew the day was going to come because, you know, I wasn't going to stop doing this. But hey, hey now, at least the suspense is there. Waypoint. Yeah, it's pretty good. Let's check it out. Okay, yeah, that made me sound like it, <laughs> the way I described it a moment ago, like kind of made me feel like I was downplaying this. This is actually pretty good. Um, I wouldn't say this is the absolute best deathmatch map I've ever played in this game, but you know, uh, of the uh, PS2 Half-Life maps here, this is definitely not the worst nor the best. I don't know what Heavy Weapons guy's trying to do here. So anyway, th this is actually really open. I think this might be the biggest of all these deathmatch maps in that version. I saw maybe Stockyard, or not Stockyard, Stockyard was cut down there. Uh, Snark Pit, which is actually one-to-one -one the same as the original, um... Like, PC map, as far as I'm aware. So anyway, uh, regardless of that, let's grab the crossbow. And obviously the crossbow is going to be really helpful. I don't really need to tell you that. You got a couple of options. You can go this way here. And you can grab the uh, shotgun and some more grenades. And a satchel. A lot of explosive goodies there. Um, I don't remember if you can blow these up. Nope. So yeah, those don't blow up. You got places to hide, though. So you take advantage of these little crouching areas. Especially now that, now that you're no longer in split screen. You know, that actually matters. Uh, there's nothing on top of this rock here, which is odd, because you think that'd be prime real estate to, like, you know, hide something. Now, there's, like, um... The thing about this map is that it's a building in the center, and then two kind of long, like, yards, right? Um, the thing about that is... You can... You absolutely can, at any point, jump through the window instead of actually taking, you know, the proper intended doorways or anything like that. So you got a lot of options to try to sneak around and get the, like, you know, the jump on people. So yeah, here's a good uh, revolver to grab. Always, I mean, revolvers are always good to grab in this game. But yeah, this one's good because this area is kind of wide. At least gives you kind of a counteract to the, like the person with the crossbow if they're hanging out over there. Uh, coming to this room here, there's nothing really but another shotgun. So never mind. There's the totally other things. There's the other yard there. Uh, that's how you can get into this area normally. That's how you can get into that room normally. You also got this room here, which you know get some more explosives. Always good time guaranteed for all. You know that's how you can get into the other lobby. Now, here's the center area. The center area's got that unused, uh, like, you know, 9mm box yet again to go along with the SMG that you can grab here. This door doesn't open, nor does that one. I'm not really teaching anything by telling you that, though. Uh, you see, you can get into that from the side area, this open area here. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so now let's go into the other final area of the map, which is this little, like, other courtyard area, whatever you want to call it. And here you see you can jump into the window, grab the, sh like, the shotgun if you need it. Uh, texturing of these rocks in this map always bugs me. It makes my, like, you know, chest hairs tingle in a very weird way. Anyway, you can get it on this rock here if you absolutely choose to do so. That's a personal choice, so I can't tell you to make that choice. You come over here. I think you might spawn there. I don't, I'm not sure where all the spawns are in these maps, to be completely honest. And yeah, here it is. There's the fucking rocket launcher. A lot of these uh, PS2 maps don't have the rocket launcher, but here you go. So yeah, that's really Waypoint. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, I think it's actually better suited to eight players. Well, that's a stupid thing to say. What I was going to say is that, you know, it's weird that they would make a map so big with only two people, like, supported on the PS2 version. Almost makes you wonder, like, with this and, like, you know, Snark Pit being there in its entirety, that if they wanted to have more people. I mean, apparently, again, I brought that it, brought it up in the office video just to go on a rant real quick. That they want to have bots too, and they have like four players and up to eight, but four players split screen and up to eight bots, but that just didn't go anywhere. So I wonder if that's a remnant of that. I don't know. Yeah, it's bad. I need to be scoping so close. Nope. Redemption. Yes. 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 Oh, now we're talking. Now I'm in my A game. You fool. You fool. I'm still missing. Who's the real fool? What? Oh my god, there's a traffic jam there. Outrageous. I don't even need the guiding system. I'll just set and sell off into the realms of nether. Well. Why would you use shotgun so far away? That's poor sport. Also, be careful you're going to be dicking around with the rocket launcher because there's a very good chance someone's going to spawn right behind you. And, you know, grab it, too, if you're, like, you know, keep the weapons on like I do. Yep. Well, that was a smart idea. 
Wow! I have the high ground now! 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 <laughs> Alright, so what's next for my little stupid series here? Well, aside from a one-off uh, Posing Force custom map I'm going to do uh, at, right after this, uh, the idea is I'm going to be checking out the unreleased three-wave uh, deathmatch classic. Not the actual mod itself, because there's no bots for it, but, you know, the maps I can at least, you know, show you a good chunk of those. At least I think I can. I've, I've tested, like, two of the maps, and so clearly they all work, because, you know, two maps is equivalent to 15. Math! 